Let's see, folks. Are we live? It's Thursday night, so it must be time to talk about my favorite five bass fishing baits for this weekend. I hope we're live. I think we're live. I'm not sure. Somebody drop a comment. Let me know if we're live. Kevin Jones coming in hot. Alex B. Some of the first ones to always join. Man, I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Y'all rock. Holy cow, we got a lot of people in here already. That's awesome. Um, so, top five baits for this week. I had a cold front this week, but good news. They bit a little better today. They're going to bite a little better tomorrow. And by the time this weekend gets here, I know it's going to be rainy. As long as it's not lightning, strap on your duck gear, boys. Get out there, get waterproofed, and go get them. They should bite this weekend. I think, you know, sometimes them fish don't read the same books we read. But if they do, they're going to bite Saturday and Sunday, boys. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Warm nights. The water's still cold. Those fish are ready for some warm water. So ready they can't stand it. Um, man, they should bite this weekend, guys. They really should. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. I hope you all catch a bunch of ton of fish. That being said, tonight we're going to talk about... Where is my... Oh, there it is. Okay. How one we really want to talk about. You know, we can go ahead and just kick it off with that one right now, actually. Yeah, lightning's coming. Somebody said, Eric Lee said, lightning's coming. Lightning is coming, but here's the deal. Lightning very rarely lasts all day. So when it's not lightning, get out there and go to whacking on them. All right? So, everybody always wants to know about big swim baits. Um, and big sw when's the big swim bait bite? Da -da 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 -da. Well, big swim bait bite's been getting going pretty darn good here lately on Lake Fork. Now, this week with the cold front, it was not nearly as good. It wasn't very good at all this week. In fact, I went and did other things this week. But the big swim bite has been getting good on Lake Fork. And this weekend should be a prime time to throw the big swim baits. That being said, if you want to get out there on those shallow, windblown points with, yes, shell beds on them. Yes, they have shell beds. I know everybody likes to say shell beds. Let's all say it. Three times we can get out of our shell bed, shell bed, shell bed. We're all done. Those shallow points that have the shells on them. With the wind on them, look for the loons to really key in on the bonus. This is a 7-inch line through gizzard. I think this is the most lifelike presentation to throw on top of those shell beds. It is a tremendous bait. The hookup ratio is phenomenal. The landing rate is phenomenal because this bait, once you hook it up, slides up the line. I think if I'm going out fishing shallow windy points looking for the big swim bait bite, this is my number one pick for that deal. There you go. That's bait number one. It's time. If you like to throw the big baits or you want to throw the big baits, right now would be the time to do that. This weekend should be a very good weekend to throw big swim baits. We're going to talk about some baits. It's a little bit different than what we've been doing this week. Uh, today... So we did a lot of this stuff today. We did most of this stuff today. We didn't do this one back the other day, but we thought about it. We just never got to it. Um, now, this earlier in the week with the cold front, there was a lot of things different going on than what's going to be going on this weekend. But Thursday Night Live Top 5 Baits is not about me telling you what I caught them on all week. It's about me trying to give you the best baits for you guys to catch them on the weekend. So, um, Old Standby. Still kicking. Hey, when it gets windy, especially windy and cloudy, in those spawning areas, everybody wants to leave because it gets so windy and they can't fish. And Oh, it's a pain in the butt. Man, just pick that thing up and cover that flat ground in the back of those spawning areas with that dang three inch out shad looking cheddar bait. And then thank me later because it works, folks. It works. Chatterbait is a lot like Novocaine, ladies and gentlemen. Give it enough time, it always works. Uh, another bait, number three, that you can throw is real, real simple. It's always on here in the springtime. Just just go throw a stick bait. Just old, right now, you know, especially these cloudy days and stuff, just go throw a black and blue five-inch stick bait. Um, you know, it's hard to beat. Now, Sight fishing is another deal. Yes, there are still some beds that if you're keen enough and you want to do it enough, you can go find beds even in cloudy weather. Um, the water's clearing up enough to where you can do so. So, 
That being said, I've kind of showed you guys the same sight fishing bait for a couple weeks, so I thought I'd show you a different sight fishing bait. This one actually, <laughs> on the last bed fish we threw this bait at today, he kind of got damaged a little bit there. He might have got his claw ripped off. I didn't replace him. I just kept slinging him in there till the fish bit. Um, but 3 8 ounce hybrid jig from Six Cents Fishing in the grass mutant color. Looks a lot like a brim. It's green and brown. Got a little blue sheen on it. Y'all see the little blue sheen? Those strands that look blue to you guys on this camera, those are actually green pumpkin colored skirt strands. They just, when you turn them at the right angle, the light catches them. They got a little blue highlight on them. That sucker looks like a little brim, and them bed fish don't like a little brim, and they don't like that jig neither. If you go to sixcentsfishing.com to order some of those bad to the bone hybrid jigs, be sure you punch in the code, your Lake Fort Guide. You'll get a 10% discount on all orders, even if you buy their awesome rods or anything else. Now, number five. And this one may be, maybe, the most fun to talk about. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Can everybody give me a big ribbit, ribbit? Comment, ribbit, ribbit. I would like to see some ribbits in the comments. Say ribbit, ribbit in the comments right now, and then I will show you bait number five. I don't see any ribbons in the comments. Or the comments, the comments just aren't coming through. There we go. Here it goes. Here we go. I had a little delay in the comments. Now y'all are lighting me up with ribbons, and I love it. I love it. Yes, sir. It's time, boys. It, it's time. It's it's really it's past time. It's more than time to get the frog and get it in your hands. I'm talking about just go fish that frog, throw it around all that shallow cover, all that flooded stuff, all that potato weed, palm weed, alligator weed, lily weed, grass weed. Uh, American lotus, Eurasian lotus, it don't matter. Just anything that's sticking out of the water, throw the frog up there back and go twitch, twitch, boom. That's how it goes down with the frog. White's been my best color most days. We are throwing old cowboy, the silver or shad looking color with the blue in it. We are throwing black as well. Believe it or not, we're throwing black on the really sunny days. That's the days we're throwing black. Most days it's white or cowboy. White's been the predominant winner. It caught the most this morning. And yes, we did catch some frogfish this morning. And yes, yes, it was a lot of fun. <clears throat> All right, that is my top five bait picks for you guys this weekend. I hope y'all catch a bunch of big ones on it. Somebody says, do I really think the top of the frog matters? I don't really think the color on the frog matters all that much. Anyway, I think you need to pick either natural colors like a real frog or a shag color, or you need to pick solid colors just depending on the, the lighting that day. Um, that's all I think that matters on the color. So top, bottom, it doesn't really matter. It's They're biting the splash, boys. Yes, cowboy is in the Dallas Cowboys frog. That is correct because it has a silver belly and it has blue in the legs. And so when you look at it from the bottom, it has Dallas Cowboy colors. That's why we call that color cowboy. Or Ronnie Kelly actually came up with that, but I like it. I like it. Somebody asked if there's any new fish life spots in the works. Actually, all the packages have received updates within the last week. Like... When I say updates, I'm talking about total rehaul, all new current information. Some of them are still in the same areas. Uh, some of the, the spots may have stayed in the same area because those areas are still holding fish, but we changed the descriptions. Made sure we got you guys all the full updates for the beginning of the month. So if you haven't downloaded the Fish Life app, if you're waiting for a good time to download the Fish Life app, now would be a great time. We just did a full load of fresh, fresh updates on all packages. So... I think we got one more that needs to be processed. I think Falcon is the last one that needs to be processed. But all the other packages, all of them, go get them. Subscribe. Because when fishing is life, folks, Fish Life is the app for you. It's the podcast for you. Will we, do, will we be doing a seminar tomorrow night at Lake Fort Marina? No, we are not doing a seminar tomorrow night. We do those every other week. So our next seminar is actually a week from tomorrow. So, we'd love to have you there. Hope you can join us. What about a toad or a buzzbait? Is it a go? Yes, yes. Yeah, buzzbait. There are some buzzbait fish. I'm catching more and bigger fish on the frog, on the old ribbit ribbit. But, 
uh, a, a horny toad, a zoom horny toad, or a buzz bait is not a bad option, and they are biting it a little bit. Yes. Do I know what is going on at the Emory Storm Shelter this evening? Mr. Crappie Truck and several other wrapped vehicles were there. I don't know. I don't know what's going on to Mr. Crappie, whatever's going on. I saw some Mr. Crappie Pro Team guy out there doing a big crappie trip with like six guys in a center console boat today. There was a lot of beef in that boat because like all them boys were like big. Like it looked like he had the Dallas Cowboys offensive line in his boat. It was pretty crazy. How do I store my big smash tech swim baits? I have, well, to keep the tail straight on these, I keep them in the box like that they come in with the little tail holder in it. See the little tail holder? And I have like a big Tupperware deal, like a big Tupperware deal that I just stack them all in. And I have one of these boxes that's just full of hooks for line throughs. That's how I store my big line through baits. That's my line through box. Now my weedless baits, I actually store those in big one gallon bags because I just get them straight off heat deal. I don't really get them in the boxes. I just store them in big one gallon bags. I lay them in there straight and then I roll the bag up and put it in my compartment. Anyone use the dinger worms? Yeah, young dinger is a great stick bait. Uh, I think young dinger is maybe one of the. It's one of the best stick baits on the market. There's a new one that's coming out, folks, that I'm real excited about. It hadn't been released yet, but when it does, it's going to be a good one, and I will be fishing the heck out of it. I will keep you informed as soon as it's released to the public. W waiting on the six inch hat. I totally forgot about your hat, Caleb. Caleb Collier, I owe you a camouflage six inch hat, and I have to get it for six cents. And I forgot about it. So that will be a little while, but we will get Caleb wanted an autographed six cents camouflage hat and he is going to get it. And I appreciate you reminding me. I'm sorry that I forgot. What happened to the old BPS, uh, the smash tech version of the old BPS line through? Well, honestly, he had got so much business. He got, they got so busy over there at Smash Tech selling all the great baits that they're selling now that he never got around to getting that released. We did show that in one video. That's funny that you remember that. But it's, yeah, it's not for sale, and I don't know when it's going to be for sale. He just never got around to getting it absolutely perfect because that's how Heath is. Uh, Heath Taylor over at Smash Tech, if he's going to release something and sell it, it's going to be like the best it can possibly be. He never got it tweaked the way he wanted to. He never got around to get it ready to release. So if he ever has the time to get caught up and get on that, I'm sure he's going to do it. What weight size for flipping beavers and sparse two leaves, two to four foot? Oh, quarter ounce, quarter ounce, quarter ounce, quarter ounce. Would be my deal. Caught a 10, 10 on Ray Roberts last night. Man. By the way, guys, we announced the March winner. The March winner on, okay, so for the Fish Life app, we had a big fish of the month contest where you guys sent in the big fish that you guys were catching using the Fish Life app. Well, the, we had several over 10 come in, and the big the biggest fish of the month was something over 10. We didn't get over 11, but we had several 10. So one of the 10-pounders, I don't remember exactly what it weighed, but one of the 10-pounders was the biggest of the month. It won. We announced the winner on the Fish Life Instagram page. So if you're not following the Fish Life Instagram page, please do go follow that. 10-10 um, on Roberts. Man, if you caught that on a Fish Life spot, be sure you send that one in because that might be the April winner. We have This will go every single month. We'll have a big fish contest on the Fish Life app. So please, please do send in your big fish picks that you're catching. <laughs> Mr. Carson, <laughs> Kevin Carson said, thanks again for taking the Cowboys O line out Tuesday. We had a great time. We did have a great time. So the Carson brothers and their dad came out for a guide trip with me. And it was a birthday present to Mr. Carson, the father, which is awesome. That's awesome that somebody got a trip with me as a birthday present. That's really cool. I think that's awesome. Um, so, yeah, we had a good time. And Mr. Carson, the birthday man himself, caught the 9-pound, 8-ounce big fish of the week in my boat, actually. So, congrats to him. He got a new personal best out of it with that one. That was awesome. But here's the real story behind the scenes is we had four guys in the boat. So, me plus three customers. And Kevin was maybe weighed a little bit less than me, but his brother and his dad didn't. And there was a whole... I'm Boys, I'm about 270 pounds, so... There was like a lot 
a lot of meat in that boat that day. I'm just telling you. It was the old the old Skeeter, the old Dark Knight was riding a little low <laughs> on that day. It was pretty good. Raging Cajun, have you released the reels you're going to be using? You know what? Listen, I, I haven't done the official video. I haven't had, I just got them in this week. I literally just, they're over here. I purposefully didn't put them on screen. They're over here, but I want to make sure when I announce it, I give it all the justice that it's worth. I'm so daggum excited about it. I kind of want to tell you guys, but I don't because I want the video to do the deal justice and the, the company justice. And they've done a great job for me and, and really took care of me. And it's a company that I'm super, super, super proud to to be involved with. Like it's it's the one that I wanted to be involved with more than any other real company. So I want to make sure that I make a really good video for that. So stay tuned. I'm gonna I think that should we should be able to get that out this next week. I really need to get that out this next week. So that should be coming. I'll do a big unboxing on it. I've got a whole bunch of reels that I got from them. It is uh, I am beside myself happy about it i've been using them the last couple days and it's been awesome somebody said spinning reels right i actually i did not order a single spinning reel <laughs> but i do have some nice spinning reels but no somebody asked dial pro staff it's not now kevin carson yet yeah, the carsons they were actually the very first ones. That guy trip was like two days ago. They were the very first ones to throw my new reels. And he says, amazing. They were they were really impressive from the very first cast. It, they're good, I'm telling you. Caleb Collier says, you're like Fort Guy with Lunkers TV. That was awesome content. Man, thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's good to get out with Lunkers. Lunkers is a great... Great guy. Uh, Justin was there. They both actually stayed the night at my house the night before. Uh, LFG, Lake Fort Guy, and Lunkers TV stayed the night at my crib the night before we, we went out. And Justin went out and did some multi-species crappie stuff that I was like, bro, I'm not getting in the boat with you if you're fishing for crappie. I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> so me and Lunkers went out chasing them old greenheads, and we got a few of them. Was it, we didn't catch no big ones, like big, big ones. Like he caught a good one at the end of the day when I wasn't in the boat. But... It was a good time, had with a good dude, on a good lake, the Great Lake, the Goat Lake, Lake Fork, so it was an awesome day. It, you know, here's the deal, guys. I feel seriously like one of, if not the luckiest guys on the planet, because literally I could say that about pretty much every day of my life. It was a great day. I went fishing on one of the, probably the best trophy bass lake of all time. Most days I'm on that lake. Some days I'm on other lakes, but either way, I went fishing on a great lake with a great guy. Like, I literally can say that almost every day of my life. And, you know, it just, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Mojo says, he, uh, he whooped you. Bro, listen, I am the guide I get credit for his fish too. Nobody whoops me. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, if I'm taking us to the spot and like pointing out the fish, then I get some credit. That's all I'm saying. He did whoop me. He whooped me. <laughs> he whooped me. <laughs> it hasn't always gone that way with me and him, but that day he whooped me. Did he mention when he'd have more smash rigs in stock? I can ask. I have not asked because I have not been using the Alabama rig very much, but I can ask. Caleb Collier says, plan on booking you for a guide trip for me and my son this summer. It will be our first time on Fork. Really excited for it, especially for my son. Dude, I can't wait to meet you because you're a great, great follower of the channel. You're a great participant in this community that we're trying to build that's all about helping each other catch more and bigger fish and loving our fellow man. And you are great at representing everything it's supposed to stand for as far as every interaction I've had with you. So I sincerely hope that we do get to go out together. I hope you do get to book that trip. And I really, really look forward to meeting you. Fork has been putting Rayburn to shame lately. Like, well, Rayburn's had some tough breaks with the flooding. You know, Fork hasn't fished great, actually. I mean, we've it's fished great because we've kicked out like a ton, a ton, a ton of big, big fish. At the same time, it's not fishing great, guys. Like, don't get it twisted. Like, a lot of my days are like six and seven fish days. 
but we're catching some big fish. Now, Rayburn, unfortunately, when you get these extreme amounts of water flow, Rayburn gets a lot more flow. Rayburn's a lot more susceptible to, ele you know, water level changes up and down, which can really mess with fish. Fork is doesn't have a river running through it. It's a lot more stable in those conditions. That's why Fork's shining over Rayburn. Now, when it comes to trophy bass, I love Sam Rayburn, and it might be the best lake in the country, but it can't hold a candle to trophy bass on Lake Fork, and neither can any other pond on earth. So, let's just get that out of the way right now. Rayburn's having a tougher time. Rayburn would be shining the same way Fork is shining. People would be catching the crap out of them if it wasn't for the crazy water level changes. That being said, even when Rayburn's at its best, it can't mess with Fork. When it comes to the Giants, it can't. No, no place can. Look at history. Look at just constant history forever and ever and ever. And even right now, look at the lake that kicks out the most share lunker fish into the program, Lake Fork. Look at the fish that's, I mean, Lake Fork's kicked almost as many into that program all time as every other lake combined. Like, Lake Fork has 200 and something, and the next lake behind it has like 30 or 50 or something stupid, like not even close. Not even close. I'm going to be coming into Lake Fork tomorrow at the Minnebucket Marina. What would be the best place to start from there? Dr. Hopper's asked. Well, Dr. Hopper's, I'm going to tell you, the best place to start would be to go download that Fish Life app and subscribe to the Lake Fork package. That would be the best place to start because then you'll have a list of 20 spots that just got uploaded this week that are my picks for the very best places to fish on Lake Fork right now. It shows you several different types of areas, several different patterns. The descriptions on all those spots come with information on what baits to use, what type of area it is, and all that. So honestly, what you should do is go download the Fish Life app. And it, I'm not telling you that just to, just to get you $20. I'm telling you that because that's the best option. Uh, if I can tell you a spot, and then if that spot don't work out, you're lost. But with the Fish Life app, you can go to spot. If that spot don't work out, there's a 19 more, bud. You know what I'm saying? Like if the wind's rolling into that spot real bad or something, there's 19 more. So that's your really, truly your best option in that situation. <clears throat> somebody says give us a clue what color is real well I have some that are silver and I have some that are black if that helps you any on the clues if it were to rain 1.5 inches on Saturday would you fish the same way as Monday if it rains 1.5 inches let me just tell y'all something right here me and this guy ain't gonna let go of each other till the end of time <gasps> I just showed a reel. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> well, I guess I just runt that surprise, didn't I? I would be real good friends with this guy. Ready? That's all you get for now. We'll do the rest of the announcement in the official video. <laughs> man, I really screwed that one up, didn't I, guys? <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> yeah, everybody's just clowning, clowning on me now. Oh, somebody drop another question so I have something to answer because I can't scroll back in the comments because it keeps kicking me down because you guys are laughing at me. Yeah, dude, these reels are boy. I'm telling you, that, that little poor white frog right there has seen more hang time than a daggum jetliner this last couple days. <laughs> I can sling that frog like... I pulled into this big creek arm and I was fishing this morning and we were fishing over here on this bank. And then this other boat pulled in like all the way on the other side of Creek Arm. I said, hey, man, what you doing driving where I'm fishing? He's like, you ain't fishing over here. Ain't no way you can cast over here. And then I put that frog on the deck of his boat all the way across the creek and I shut him up. You know what I'm saying? Like, that sucker's bad, dude. That was a joke for those of y'all that don't know. Have I had a chance to try the new sensory rods? I do. I own a sensory rod. Uh, I've been fishing with it a bunch, like every day, every day, all day. I've been fishing with the sensory rod, and 
My opinion on the six cent century rods is that's the very best rod. No matter price, bar no price, no bar no anything. That century rod is the best dang rod I've ever put in my hands. And I'm, it's starting to sound like pro staff stuff because I told you guys the Lux rods were the best rods for their price point. They were the best rods, and they are for their price point. They're the best rods I can find. Well, six cents just does what they continue to do as far as, you know, getting out there and. You know, creating the product, like the everything they release is just the top of the line. It's like one of, if not the best on the market in that category. Well, they've done it. This sensory rod is the best rod I've ever held in my hands. And guys, I fished with some $400 rods and some $300 rods. And this one ain't going to be as expensive as neither one of those. And it's better. It's a better rod, in my opinion. Caleb Collier says, don't go get in that Shimano DC with that freaky noise. Listen, dude. Listen. Somebody said that's a Shimano. It's not the Shimano DC. Bro, that, that Shimano DC sounds like it's sneezing every time you cast it, man. Dude, Rackley was over here the other day, and he was casting that thing around. I was like, good Lord, son. That sucker is annoying. So annoying. Oh my goodness. If anybody's got some questions that I didn't get to or a new question or whatever, drop it in right now. We got a few more minutes. Answer a couple more questions. It's been fun tonight. This has been a fun, fun live stream. It's been a fun week of fishing. It's been a fun live stream. Um, I really appreciate you guys joining us. Bunch of y'all in the house tonight. Stay until the end. I really appreciate that as well. You guys are like the best ever, man. Y'all make my life so awesome. Couldn't do it out without you. You know, all the guys that book guide trips, of course, and all you guys that watch the channel and help grow the platform and do what y'all do, man. Keep telling your friends. Keep spreading the word. I want everybody to tell everybody they know that's into fishing about this channel. That would be so awesome. If I were to skip some docks with a jig, would you pick the 7.5 Heavy or a 7.2 medium heavy i would probably pick the 75 heavy with the moderate tip in the lux series that would be the deal for me on skipping docks now it would probably be easier to skip the docks with the 72 medium heavy but i've had a lot of experience skipping docks so i would use that one because i want that little bit more meteor rod if i need to hook a fish and get him out of that dock in a hurry um it can be done certainly with a 75 heavy with the moderate tip with the moderate tip the 75 extra heavy is going to be kind of a, a tough one i mean you probably do it but mm, it's going to be tough uh 76 heavy with the fast tip no i don't want that either i want the 75 heavy with a moderate tip that would be a good one to skip jigs with uh somebody says they're late to the chat so sorry if i've answered this what's your fishing plan on fish coming off of spawn we do have a few fish that are post spawn there's not a lot there's not a lot so my plan is to not worry about them and keep fishing for the spawning fish um really i am focusing more on the spawning fish because we do have a lot more spawning than we do post but we do have some post spawn fish and uh the post spawn fish can be caught on that frog because they haven't left the shallows yet the post spawn fish are just coming off the beds like there's some fry garters there's some big females that are hanging out on little grass edges, and that frog is a tremendous bait to catch those post spawn fish. Also, the stick bait, the five inch stick bait, will catch some of those big, lazy, lethargic uh, female fish that are just coming off the bed, hanging around, being lazy. Does Lake Fort Marina sell the swim baits that you were showing in the beginning of the video? Yes. Yes, the seven inch line through gizzard shad from Smash Tech comes in a box like this, hanging on the shelf right on the back wall of Lake Fort Marina. Big Smash Tech section, can't miss it. All that black and yellow back there, it's real big, real big section for the best selection of swim baits that are possibly that are being made in the world right now, probably by one bait maker. He's got a huge selection of awesome swim baits, and Lake Fort Marina has dang near every one of them, which is awesome. We appreciate Lake Fort Marina for that. Um, you know, the deal with Smash Tech too is it's just such a reliable bait because you got such a quality person. Like, that's a big deal. He's such a quality guy. He's not going to put out a product and try to get you money. 
He's going to sell it at a fair price. He's going to make sure the product is something that he would use if he was fishing the biggest tournament on earth. He's very adamant about putting product out that's exact to exact standards of what he would want if he was fishing the Bassmasters Classic. So um, when you buy a Smash Tech product, just buy it with all faith that you're getting a quality product from a quality guy. Go fish it with confidence because it does. It does work. I promise you. If he sells it, it works. Timmy Rhodes says, better late than never. That's right, buddy. Just in time to hear me say, we sure appreciate you watching tonight. It's been a great... <coughs> it's been a great live stream. Can't say thank you guys enough. Get over to sixandfishing.com. Uh, punch in the code, you're like Fort Guide. Get a 10% discount on all orders. Go check out smashtechbase.com. Get you some swim baits. It's the big swim bait time of year. It's happening right now, guys. Go do it. Um, amphibia Eyewear. I'm leaning on them so hard every day sight fishing right now. I cannot stress it enough. Baja lens is my preferred lens for sight fishing with amphibia eye gear. Go get some loose reels too. And we'll see you next time right here. Appreciate you guys on your level.